Gary, 3-2 defeat at, at Reading this afternoon. Uh, what was the root cause of what happened today? I think we gave really bad goals away at, at bad times in the game. I, I don't think the overall performance was bad. Uh, but if you concede three goals the way we did away from home, then you know you give yourself a really difficult task to win a game. We scored two goals, which we've not done for a while, uh, which was pleasing. We created other opportunities, but I think the goals we gave away were really disappointing. I think we saw, it, it was a strange game, I think we did see some positives in terms of scoring goals in some aspects, but perhaps crept back into to old ways in others. It seemed to be a lack of cohesion and, and too many misplaced passes. Uh, I, I thought it was just poor individual errors for the goals. I thought some of our play was, was very good. Uh, I thought we could have played longer uh, in the game early when, when they were pressing. We didn't recognise where the space was and when we did, we caused them problems by playing in behind. We were wide players, MA and Dion, uh, and, and some of our position was, was good. But when we lost the ball, we looked really poor defensively in, in individual actions. I thought the, the shape out of possession was good. We, we didn't really have many problems. We didn't want to press too high. We've had a lot of games in, in quick succession and, and physically we were always going to be struggling today with, it, with the squad uh, and, and the finishers that we had to bring on. So we decided to sit off a little bit, but uh, I, th I thought that worked fine. The long balls that they played, we, we have to defend much better than we did. But. <coughs> Like I said, the goals we gave away and the timing that we did give them away was, was really disappointing. You mentioned the squad there. Of course, you named one of your coaches, David Perkins, on the bench. I, I guess you had a bit of a headache this morning as well, losing Will Ameson with that, with that fitness test. Yeah, we had a number of players that were carrying knocks and, and injuries and fair play to a lot of them. They, they stepped on the pitch and they, they gave absolutely everything. Uh, Will failed a late fitness test, so we felt like we had to put Perks on the bench. He was somebody that we registered months ago uh, and, and the off chance that we, we ever needed him. Uh, but it just shows where we are. I think, again, the, the, kind of, the games in quick succession has, has took its toll on the squad. People pick up little niggles. Will's injury shouldn't be too bad, but it was too quick for him to, to be ready today. Hopefully he'll be fine for, for Saturday. Uh, and obviously the January window's open, so we need to add quality and, and add depth to the squad. We'll get on to January in a moment, but um, it's easy to say when, the, when they're the two players that, that did score the goals, but Dion Rankin and, and Zach Jules probably the two standouts on our side today. Yeah, I thought a lot of players played well, if I'm being honest. I thought, you know, we did a lot of good things, but you can't give three goals away uh, in any game of football and expect to, to go and win. So, uh, you know, individually, we need to all look at ourselves again and, and, and come back in, in the week's prep before Carlisle and, and be ready to make sure that when those actions come, we, we have to be better. <coughs> Today's defeat means we're into the relegation zone. In terms of the mentality of that happening and how costly do you think that could be? I think there's a long way to go. It's, it's not something I'm, I'm overly concerned about. I obviously want to be much higher in the league, but there's a lot of points to play for. We can't you know, look at the league table. We didn't look at it when we were sitting top after eight games, and now you know, we're nearly at the halfway stage, but there's a lot of points to play for. We have to focus on what we need to do to win football matches. Uh, and that starts by recovering, getting people back fit and, and going again uh, for Carlisle on Saturday. After you know, a positive week or two, really, would, would you feel this feels like a bit of a, a step backwards or a setback? In terms of result, yes, but not in terms of performance and not in terms of how the players went about it. I think you've seen a team you know, that had grown in confidence. We played some good stuff at times, but like I said, the first ball they played down the middle of the pitch, they score. Uh, and then just before half time, when we're in possession of our ball and we can clear it, we give them another goal. So we come in, probably should have been 2 1 up, and we come in 2 1 down. You know, if we came in drawn at half time, I think we'd have been slightly disappointed. Uh, but we come in getting beat. We, we fight again as a, as a group and we get back into the game with some excellent play, second half, totally dominant. And then when we get back in the game, we shoot ourselves in the foot by giving a, you know, a very good player an opportunity from 20 yards. And it's a fantastic strike, but it's something, again, that I think we can, we can stop. That game against Carlisle on Saturday is, is huge in terms of the table. Are you expecting or, or hoping for, for one or two new faces in before then? Hopefully one. Uh, and then hopefully others throughout the week will work hard to try and do that. But... You know, January is notoriously a really difficult window. We have targets, we're speaking to clubs, but 
you know, clubs aren't just going to give us their players and, and we want, you know, better players to come into our club uh, to add quality and add numbers to the, the squad and, and create competition. Uh, but it's going to be a really difficult window. The club has obviously said, you know, there's some funds available, but we are in a market that's really difficult. We're in with all other clubs who are, who are looking for the same players and looking for quality players as well. So uh, it's, it's going to be challenging. We can't, you know, throw a magic wand at it and, and bring lots of players in quickly. We'll, like I said, hopefully get one this week and work extremely hard to get more uh, throughout the window. Uh, but it is a long window in terms of you've got 30, 30 days, whatever it is. And we have to make sure that come the end of it and, and in the way through it, we, we keep improving the quality of the squad. I think a lot of managers say that January is notoriously hard for buying players, uh, given the situation we're in. Would, would you rather take your time and make sure that that money is spent on the exact right player, even if it perhaps has a negative impact for, for, for a couple of weeks? You'd rather wait to make sure long term it's the right thing? Yeah, look, I'm responsible for bringing players into this, this club and I'm not going to waste the money that the, the board and the trust have worked extremely hard to, to provide. I have to make sure that we, we get the right players in, uh, but that is very challenging in January. And the, the supporters have to understand that, the club understands that, and we need to you know, keep looking for the right characters uh, to come into this, uh, this team and, and make us better because, again, I'll reiterate, you know, I, I think there was a lot of positives today. I think the squad needs some help uh, in terms of numbers, in terms of quality, to add competition to, to certain positions within the team, and that makes performance better. That's what drives performance. Uh, so hopefully we can we can do that sooner, but if not, we'll work extremely hard all of January to, to make it happen come the end of it. Just to end, supporters, excellent today, 1,200. They're incredible. They're brilliant supporters. Uh, I understand the frustration, uh, but I think they've seen a team today that was ab ab given absolutely everything to, to win the game of football. And uh, you know, too many individual actions went against us today. We have to work at that next week to, to make sure we get it right. But their support at this time is invaluable. We need them to stick with us. Uh, we need them to kind of get behind the new players that come into the club uh, and make this a successful season by by sticking together in this moment. Thanks a lot, Gary. Thank you.